Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tony from Mag Monkeys here, and today, oh yes, we have the Glock 17 by Elite Force Umarex. It's actually OEM'd by VFC. This is the officially licensed Glock. Uh, we are going to do a quick little review and takedown video, um, so you know how to maintain this if you do have one of these. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. This is not exactly what it's going to look like when it comes in the box. Obviously, you're going to have an orange tip. I removed mine. It'll actually come in a nice little plastic bag. Um, you get the instructions. They actually include the, the uh, three extra O-rings for the mag, which is really nice of them. Uh, it's the only company I've seen do that. So that's pretty cool. You get your manual, you get your registration thing, and then, you know, do not return the product to the store. You send it into Umarex if you have any sort of issues. Uh, I've been told that all these guns are actually pre-tested before being shipped out uh, with propane, uh, in the U.S. market at least, because they know that we just love using our propane here. Um, without any further ado, we'll kind of get into it. Uh, mag release is, you know, it's a Gen 4 Glock, uh, first off, so it's a Gen 4, 17 Gen 4, so it's got the larger um, mag release, which is nice. Unlike the Wii Tech ones, this isn't going to get stuck on the inside of itself, so thank you for that. Uh, nice job on that, Umrex. The slide's very nice, good tension on the spring, very crisp, loud trigger, uh, very snappy trigger when you do decide to shoot at rapid fire. Um, I used this thing yesterday, still got gas holding in it, so that's nice. Uh, the only thing that's kind of a pain in the ass is to fill it. you got to pull this little notch down, which I actually typically, I have no nails. Um, so you guys that have nails can probably do this without doing this, um, but I have to usually get like a little tool. A uh, small flat head will usually do the trick um, and just stick it underneath here and then you slide this base plate forward like so and then you can get to your fill valve uh, you fill it up and then you slide that back on and you're good to go uh, I will say comparatively to WeTech magazines this thing's actually not that great um, it works don't get me wrong uh, it just doesn't seem like it's providing as much power as my WeTech ones are um, I do have to say I like the loading of this magazine because you can literally load it starting here so you've got that whole wider space to load and I don't have the problem with my Wii Tech mags or like I do with my Wii Tech mags where the follower breaks at least not yet although I can kind of see a little wear there happening already so I'm sure that it's just a matter of time that's just a thing with these mags it's officially licensed and trademarked so you get the base plate that says Glock on it you get the actual back of the mag that says Glock on it which is kind of cool um, and then of course you got your slide and all that this thing takes down just like a real one before we do that too I do want to point out that these are all individually serial numbered um, some of them do not match the boxes that they come in I think this one does, um, but yeah, and then the only other thing I don't really like is they got this little warning thing down here, but honestly it's so small and it's in such a place that you're really not going to notice it, it's not a big deal. Uh, to take the gun down, you're going to go ahead and pull these two tabs, so there's one on this side and there's one on that side, you have to do it at the same time, pull them all the way down, have the gun locked back and slide it forward, and it'll come forward. And you don't actually have to pull the trigger like you do on the real one, which is kind of nice. Uh, inside, this is what the inside looks like. You've got your, as I like to call it, the inception spring uh, for the Gen 4. The Gen 3, from what I hear, does not have that. Uh, so the Glock 19 that's currently available should not have that kind of a spring. Um, but yeah, I actually have to say, though, overall this pistol is pretty damn awesome. Um, it shoots pretty straight, uh, not quite as good as my HK45, but I have to tell you, with two eights, um, it's pretty darn close. It's, it's a good gun. Uh, very happy that I bought it, so no disappointment here. You take your inner barrel and hop-up assembly there apart, and then you got your outer barrel here, um, and then you've got your blowback unit. Um, yes, there is a lot of proprietary parts in this thing. That's okay with me for right now. I'm sure they will be working on aftermarket parts soon. Um, some of the stuff is WeTech compatible from what I understand, but most of it is actually not. So keep that in mind when you're buying this thing. As of right now, there is not anything 
on the market for upgrade parts, uh, replacement parts, that type of thing. Um, Umarex will probably take care of you on a lot of that stuff, uh, and I'm sure they will be releasing replacement parts for this gun as things start to break. Uh, it's a gas blowback gun, things are going to break. There's just moving parts, it's airsoft, it's going to happen. So, uh, overall, I really do enjoy this gun quite a bit. Very happy I purchased it. Um, I will probably be picking up the 19 at some point, uh, just because I want something to just kind of complete the collection here. And I just kind of like it. Even though it is a Gen 3, I'm not super big on that because of the tinier mag release button. But you know what? It's, it's life. It's not a huge deal. I can make something work with that. So, yeah. Uh, while I have y'all here, if you're watching, I do want to remind you that we do have an edited channel. Uh, it's Mag Monkeys Airsoft. If you are a fan of what we do here, go ahead and check that channel out. And if you like what you see there, go ahead and you know hit subscribe and hit the notification bell. We do not upload on there as often, not even close, uh, as you can see within our video counts. But all the videos on there are edited, which is really nice. Um, Get to see some cool gameplay. We're going to start doing some reviews, some gun safety stuff. A lot of our teching stuff is over there now that's not this type of stuff, like AEG stuff. Um, so feel free to check that out. Um, we are also always still looking for teammates, so if that's something that you are interested in doing and joining up with an Airsoft team, uh, you know, hit us up. I had uh, somebody already message us through YouTube and we hooked them in, so. Uh, we are always looking for people. If you are in the northern-ish Illinois area, southern border of Wisconsin, that's typically our jam. Uh, but yeah, Q-tips, by the way, guys, really good thing to have when you're cleaning your guns. You see all this oil that's kind of like sitting in here. It's really hard to get at, even with a paper towel, but a Q-tip will generally be able to get in there and get that stuff pretty good. I mean, you can kind of see what's coming out there. So I'm just going to kind of keep doing this back and forth here to get most of that gunk out. Still got a shine in it, and that, that's okay. I'm not worried about getting every drop out. Um, but yeah, no, I really liked this gun a lot. It shot great for me. It doesn't shoot very hot as far as, like, FPS and stuff goes, so it doesn't, like, kill you to get hit from this but you'll definitely feel it you'll know that you got hit um great for indoor play uh that's where i played with this yesterday so i don't know what this is going to do outdoors with wind but indoors without wind this thing was shooting like a laser so the gun's capable uh heavier weight bbs are always recommended in my opinion uh when you're using a gas blowback gun just because it will fly a little bit more consistently for you uh, so I do recommend that you pick some of those up. I personally run .28s in my guns. Uh, I run that in my rifle as well currently, although I'll probably be stepping that up to a 3.2. I don't know if I'll be doing that with my pistols yet or not. We'll kind of see how it goes. Um, but yeah, honestly, uh, and granted this is a brand, brand new gun. Uh, but I would say this is probably the second best pistol I own at this point. Uh, and that's saying a lot, because I really do love my HK45. Those of you guys that have been here for a while and know that's my favorite um, will know that I do cherish that pistol like nothing else. Um, but this is definitely a good second runner, uh, which is actually what I ended up using it for this weekend, uh, just in case my gun went down. I had it with me. It luckily did not. Everything worked great. So thank you. Big shout out to Matt Clifford, our team gun tech for gas blowback stuff on that. Um, did a nice job fixing her up for me. But just in case, you know, I wanted to have something and then I ended up switching to pistols only for that day. And it was really nice to play with this. It was a lot of fun. All right, so now that we got that all cleaned out, we'll slide this back into the outer barrel. Like so, you kind of have to get it over that little ledge there. And then you can kind of see, too, on this side, there's this little piece that kind of aligns in 
right there when you put it in. So that's kind of what this all looks like. To get it out, you're going to have to lift it up and over. Or I'm sorry, like up and like through. You have to kind of wiggle it a little bit, but it'll work. Um, it is threaded on the inside, but you will need some sort of weird adapter. I don't know what this is. It's not a standard 14 millimeter one, I can tell you that. Um, yeah. One thing I know I said this earlier about the magazines, uh, I would definitely recommend getting some WeTech mags for this thing. This thing loves them, I think, honestly, more than it likes the VFC mags. Yeah, you don't get the cool trademarks and stuff, but you don't have to deal with that pain in the ass bait pl base plate. And, quite honestly, they work better. And just that's just my personal opinion. It's a very subjective experience on that. I have no data to prove that. But, in my opinion, those WeTech mags are way better in this gun than the VFC one. Uh, VFC one will work. It will. It will get the job done. I just feel like it's a little underpowered. Um, they fit in there really good, the WeTech ones do too. Not to say that the uh, VFC one doesn't, because it totally does. Um, but, I would say still recommend those WeTech mags in this gun. Um, might just be my mag, might just be my gun, I don't know. This is a relatively early release on these things, so... I mean, it's not a super low serial number, but... This is still in the first batch that they've sent out, so... Alright. See, and this is how you know this is the raw channel, because this is not going on nicely. Alright. Come on. What do we got going on here? See, now you get to see how I troubleshoot some stuff. All right, so that's a little off alignment. That all looks good. That's the way it goes. Yeah, that's the way it goes. It has to go that way. All right, let's try that. One thing to always do too when you put the gun back together, make sure it works, um, cock it back, make sure it fires, hold the trigger down like I am, cock it back again. If you hear the hammer go forward, that's a problem, that means you got a full auto pistol. Uh, if you have a full auto setting on your pistol, you should check to make sure that's working. Uh, if not, you should be able to release the trigger, hear this reset, and then there you have it. So. Alright guys, that's basically it on the Glock 17 Gen 4. I personally really enjoy this gun quite a bit. I do recommend picking one up. Um, I know they're kind of on the pricey side, uh, but if you are looking to get something that is a Glock replica, I mean this is the only licensed one out there. The Tokyo Marui ones are pretty nice, but they're going to be more expensive and you know illegal to get. Um, we tech mags work great in this thing. If you have one of those G series Glocks, you know, all your mags will go right over, which is actually the main reason I bought this, because uh, I had a buttload of those things just sitting around. So I do recommend it. Sights are pretty cool too. You can kind of see those there, I hope. Um, I really like it, I must say. It's a good gun. I do recommend it. It is expensive, I know. Um, definitely for those intermediate players, um, high-end players. Wouldn't recommend it necessarily for a beginner because it is such a high price point to get into it. Um, but if you don't have any WeTech mags, I would get those because they are about $15 cheaper than these um, VFC ones. And they work a little bit better, in my opinion. Uh, you don't have to deal with the stupid base plate thing, which is nice. This gun does work great on propane. That's the only thing I've been using in it. I have not used green gas in this gun at all. The valves and the O-rings have held up in this mag as well as my other ones for that. So, uh, fun note, the WeTech mags, they do make an extended mag. VFC does not. This thing with a 50 round mag is just a ton of fun. So, 
uh, yeah. Until next time, guys, this has been Tony from Mag Monkeys, signing off.